Friesland is a Mennonite colony in the northern part of Paraguay. To understand its history and development, we need to look back to the roots. History of Mennonites In the 16th century, a radical group of Anabaptists was formed. They rejected infant baptism and practiced the believer's baptism. Being pacifists, they refused military service and believed in the separation of church and state. This led to the persecution of Anabaptists by the state and the church, which resulted in their dispersion across the entire European continent. A former Catholic priest from the Netherlands called Menno Simmons gathered and consolidated many of the scattered baptizers, who soon were known as Mennonites. Mennonites have always been known for their love of country life. On the various migratory routes they've taken since the 16th century, they have passed through the Netherlands, Prussia, Russia, Canada, the United States, Mexico, Bolivia, and Paraguay. In the process, again and again, they worked barren lands which they cultivated and made fruitful. History of the Mennonites in Paraguay In 1929, a small group of Mennonites fled the Soviet Union. In 1930, part of this group founded the second Mennonite colony in Paraguay, Fernheim. Here in the wilderness, they began to build their existence out of nothing. The first years in Fernheim were extremely tough. The extreme climate and the economic and social conditions were very difficult. All this led to about one-third of the inhabitants of Fernheim leaving the newly founded colony in 1937, searching for better opportunities in the less intense environment of eastern Paraguay. history of the colony Friesland. In the same year, this group founded the colony Friesland in the department of San Pedro, 50 kilometers east of the Paraguay River. The name Friesland was derived from one of the Mennonites' places of origin in the Netherlands and Germany. Since the founding of the colony, the most important social pillars have been faith, labor, family, and education. 135 families totaling 750 people settled on approximately 7,000 hectares. The colony was spread into several villages. During the first eight years they planted cotton, but the great success they had hoped for wasn't realized. The settlers soon understood that there was no suitable market for their production. During the following 10 years, they earned their livelihood as employees, craftsmen, and cattlemen. They also transported goods as wagoneers. The uncertainty and economic instability of those years caused many to lose hope, some moving once again in search of a better life. In the 60s, with great effort, more land was bought. The colonists became agricultural farmers once again. In those years, the farmers mainly planted corn and marketed it with the help of the cooperative. A few years later, the wheat and soy era began. Then in 1989, direct sowing brought a change in agriculture. Currently, about 700 people live in Friesland. The main sources of income are agriculture, cattle and milk production. In addition, entrepreneurship has been greatly supported. A 
Civil Association of the Friesland Colony. To meet the social needs, the Civil Association was established. Most members of the association are also part of the cooperative. The administration is exercised jointly with the cooperative. In the following, the departments of the Civil Association are presented. The most important learning objective of Colegio Friesland is the transmission of knowledge based on Christian values. The curriculum is recognized by the National Ministry of Education, the NEC. In the area of languages, the students are taught the German diploma. In addition, the school takes part in national and international competitions in mathematics, art, music and sports. Through the Canzone Conservatory, young students are enabled to pursue the art of music. It also offers lessons in singing and various instruments. The Communication Department publishes a monthly newsletter, runs a local radio station, and is responsible for the social media work, the museum, the archives, and Friesland's website. The Estrella is an important sports event center for both young and old. The athletes take part in football, volleyball, and table tennis tournaments. Frieslanders like to spend their free time in the various parks, which are perfect for relaxing and to take walks. In addition, the Civil Association runs social work, a retirement and nursing home, an integrative farm, a pastoral service, and mutual help with medical and automotive matters. The library offers a wide range of articles in German and Spanish, as well as the postal service. Friesland Cooperative One of the pillars of the Friesland colony is labor. The Friesland Cooperative was founded and this created a domestic market for the community's products. The aim was to improve the difficult economic situation through cooperation between the members. The cooperative is managed by a president, a board of directors, and a supervisory board. These are democratically elected by the members of the institution. The highest body of the cooperative is the General Assembly of the Members, where all important decisions are made. The administration of the cooperative includes the Human Resources Department, Accounting, the Representation in Asuncion, Corporate Communication, IT, and the Cleaning Department. The production area includes the farms, the compound feed factory, Frisco, and the dairy, an organization called Trebol. Another important area is commerce. This includes the shopping center, hardware store, Department of Agricultural Products, and gas stations operating under the name of ECOP. After the harvest, all the grain of the members are stored dry in the silos and marketed by the cooperative. In the meat sector, the cooperative works with the Neuland Slaughterhouse. Services include the Finance Department, Agricultural Advisory Service, Transportation and Road Construction. At the hospital Tabea, professionals, specialists and technical staff are all part of the medical care. The Education Committee is responsible for providing training for members and employees. Focusing on the future, the cooperative supports students with a scholarship system. COVISAP Since the 1960s, the Friesland Colony has been striving to help the surrounding villages through various projects. The project COVISAP provides agricultural advisory services, loans, 
medical care, and training. The support of agricultural production and marketing is intended to improve the standard of living. After many years of labor, the Carolina Cooperative was founded. It is considered an important economic driver in the district of Itacuruvida Rosario. The most important branches of the Carolina Cooperative are the cultivation of sesame, the milk production, and the issuing of loans. There is a close cooperation between Friesland Cooperative and the Carolina Cooperative. The congregations and the committee for church affairs. Since the foundation, there have been two congregations in the Friesland Colony, the Mennonite Church and the Mennonite Brethren Church. The congregations organize both separate and joint activities. Both congregations share their foundation of faith and base it on the Word of God. They also both believe that the relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ, is the only way to salvation. Both congregations are represented in the Committee for Church Affairs, the KFK. This board is responsible for the organization of joint events such as evangelistic crusades, harvest festivals, and memorial days. The congregations also do missionary work. Friesland in a national context. The Cooperative Friesland and the Civil Association of the Colony are legally recognized by the national government and are subordinate to the local government of Itacurubi del Rosario, with whom there has been close cooperation. Through the Association of Mennonite Colonies in Paraguay and the community boards, Friesland is in constant contact with other Mennonite colonies in Paraguay. Through the Federation of Cooperative Production, the cooperative has shares in ECOP, Bancop, and the insurance company Taju. The current generation is aware of the sacrifices made by the pioneers of Friesland. Today they are continuing to make great efforts to develop the community and preserve the faith and culture. Friesland strives to integrate into their immediate environment and to make a positive contribution to Paraguay. Moving forward together, a motto that motivates the current and coming generations to shape the future of Friesland.